What is going on everybody? We are back here. This should be Wednesday's upload. We actually have a pretty uh, entertaining gameplay here. We're in the uh, Patriots uniforms, of course. We're in the Georgia Dome playing against my opponent. Go ahead and flash you guys the opponent's name right there. This is one of those games where like, I thought I was about to have another epic choke. Like we just were such in control. We'll, we'll just we'll just let you guys watch the gameplay. So Tavon Austin gets like flipped on his head right there. Uh, right there, we hit Demaris Thomas on nice little uh, slant route. You know, so we turn up field, we're driving. I've been trying to work on my screen game a little bit. People always kill me with it, but like when I run screens, I never go anywhere. So we get a nice little screen right there, and then we do a uh, inside handoff, bend it back for the cutback, and uh, just like that little resistance. You know, we drove downfield within three minutes, scored a touchdown. We're up seven. So perfect shape. We got ball first. We scored first. Now um, we just need to go ahead and get these stops. So we're going to go ahead and kick off again. I have two new players. You guys might be able to see it. You might not. Um, but Thursday or Friday, we'll go ahead and drop a video um, introducing those uh, two new players. I've just been sick and got crazy projects and stuff. So we're kicking off right here. We tackle them short of the 25. And how the game started was just like that we had like three or four of those plays like on his first two drives we were just dropping picks so third and long right there we send a little bit of edge he and we get a uh, we get a sack forcing a fourth and long and he punts it so perfect scenario his first drive he punts we scored he didn't even stop us we could go 14-0 easily but as the game goes on you're gonna see that play that he's running that's the only play he runs all game that I form power O that play action power O and as the game was going on, I'm like, what is he, why is he not running a different play? I don't know, I don't get it. As we uh, dot him up right there with Calvin. And he never switched his play calls, I didn't get it. So we go with another shotgun handoff into Marco Murray around the other edge touchdown. So we're 14-0. He didn't show me anything on offense. He just called the same play three times and we dropped two picks and then the other play we got a sack. So I'm like, I don't know if this is his offense. And I didn't really understand what he was trying to do, but by the title of this video, um, Pump Fake Cheese, this is the first time I've ran into it. I don't know if it was my players or the plays that I'm calling, but I felt like he was doing it all game. And it didn't really start to show itself until the second half, um, which you guys will see when shit just, shit just gets real in the second half. So he's back on offense again, running the PA power row right there again. And, you know, we easily, we put a contain up, we sack him. See right there, he throws a pump fake, right? And um, Cromartie gets burned. And I'm like, hmm, I thought maybe we just got beat. We didn't make a play. And right here, I triple covered Calvin. It's so hard to stop that um, that end zone post route. I triple covered him and I usered him. And he still threw it over all of us. So it was a nice response by him. Now I know if we let him inside the 10, um, he's throwing that post. And it's so hard to stop it. You have to know where to sit when the post is thrown. And... It's pretty hard. I haven't had many people stop me when I run it. Um, and I know it's pretty difficult to stop. So, you know, it's 14 7. All right, whatever. We go ahead and throw another screen. He hasn't shown me any reason to think why he should be able to stop our offense. So, you know, we're doing all right. Third and long right here. We go up on this man's neck with Jordy Nelson. <laughs> we face catch one time with Jordy Nelson again. And then this time he tries to um, play cover two with it. And uh, we easily got him up for the streak. So, you know, he had that nice little drive. He caught us with the pump fake. I was like, all right, what I didn't notice, I didn't notice what he was doing until the end of the game when I when I'll go back and show you guys what he was doing. But I mean, right there, we're up 21-7. I'm not seeing much of an issue. I mean, he, if I was getting ball at half, I would pronounce this game over. But we're up um multiple scores. And he had and see, when I'm playing the game, I'm like, oh, he got one lucky streak off. As you can see right there, he's pump faking. As we go ahead and snag that user pig with Jack Ham, I think Russell Wilson got hit as he threw it. And I'm chugging with Jack Ham. I'm spinning. I'm juking. I'm trying to do what I can. I didn't even know the clock was ticking down until I got tackled. And I looked up at the clock and saw there was three seconds. So um, we go ahead and QB sneak it. I'm looking for Walter Payton, but I forgot I didn't put him in my lineup. So we ended up sneaking in it with Aaron Rodgers. But um, that Jack Ham always making plays. He doesn't want to get traded. And so we're up 21 points going into the second half. He gets a ball, and I'm thinking, like, this game is completely over. But he comes out at halftime, and I'm not changing. I'm doing the exact same thing on defense I was doing. 
calling the same blitzes, calling the same coverages, covering the same people, shading, doing everything the exact same. <clears throat> um, I don't know if he started leaving in extra blockers, if he started shifting a certain way, doing something differently, but um, the pump fake just starts making my DBs go dumb. And this is the first time I've ran into it, and it looks like he knows what he's doing. Like, this isn't the first time. Like, he didn't just hop into a game and try out pump fake. <coughs> he knows. But my thing is, like, I don't know why zones would bite on pump fakes. Maybe man to man. <coughs> I don't know why zones just wouldn't keep backpedaling. So, you know, we kick the ball off to him. And this is what I, uh, this is what I see happen first play out, right? He pump fakes, throws it. And I'm like, I clicked on. And I was like, all right, I fucked up. I made a mistake. But even then, Patrick was beat by like five yards. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. He got us. I clicked on. I shouldn't have clicked on. We're still up by 14 points. He hasn't stopped us on offense. So that gives me no reason to think he's going to stop us right now. But I don't know what he ended up doing, if he ended up catching on. Um, but he ends up slowly uh, locking us up and turning it into a game. So he goes ahead and kicks it off. And we're just going to try to keep doing what we're doing on offense. We don't need to stop anything. Just keep calling the same plays and I don't feel like why he would stop us. So third and long right here, we go ahead and hit Demarius. I thought we were gonna take that all away, but we just get tackled there at the very end. Right there, third and 17, we hit the out route. And right here I'm looking and he started sending an A-gap the second half and I wasn't prepared for it. So right here again, look, pump fakes and Cromartie gets burned. I have two of the fastest corners you can get in the game and I'm protecting over the top and He's had two plays on offense in the second half, and he scored two touchdowns. So a 28-7 lead just got zapped down to 28-21. to He started calling a little 4-3 A-gap that wasn't coming, that wasn't being picked up if I pinched and blocked a running back. I started sliding right. It kind of got picked up. I started sliding left. It kind of got picked up. It would still come in. So I had to purposely move Aaron out of the way. You see me roll a little bit right there. So second and, <clears throat> second and long, we pick up a first down right there. All I'm trying to play for right now, the way he's been playing, I'm like, just let me get three points. The shit is ridiculous. I'm kind of, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm flustered right now. He's sending an A gap at me that he wasn't sending in the first half that I can't pick up for some reason. And he's had two plays, and they've been wide open streaks, and I don't understand. So I was just playing for a field goal right there. I'm like, we need to get points. Clearly, he could score at any point he wants to. I went from thinking this kid was a joke to I don't know what the fuck's happening. So look, pump fake, boom, Pat Pete gets the shit burned out of him. But the thing is, he was doing this exact same shit in the first half, and Pat Pete wasn't biting. Uh, Cromartie bit once, pressure was getting in. And just like that, he's had three plays in the second half. All three have been touchdowns. And at this point, I'm completely rattled. I'm completely flu flustered. I'm thinking I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna choke away a 21 point lead in the second half because all of a sudden I can't move the ball on offense because I can't stop an A-gap and I can't stop play action streaks, which we go ahead and show you guys in the um, replay. So right here, my goal is get points. Take the clock and get points. So right there we hit Gronk, boom, first down. That's another a minute and a half off the clock. Right here, it was third and seven, he blitzed the house and whew, we dot Jordy Nelson over the top, and you know, I had to go ahead and throw that in there. I was salty, I'm not gonna lie, I was salty. I face caught him for the last play of the game. Um, that last two minutes right there, he just started, um, I went under center because I didn't want that A-gap affecting my plays. So he just started sending like all out blitzes, engage eights, and he let he kept leaving the slants open, and we were able to pick up two quick first downs, we had two clock on, and the clock disappeared like that. But holy shit. And you see me right after the game, I jump immediately into the highlights because I just want to know what the hell happened. How were they getting so wide open? I wasn't run committing. I wasn't in man coverage. So I go back and look at all four plays and he did the exact same thing on all four plays. So I'm looking at my DB and I'm looking at his quarterback. You see him drop back right here, right? He pump fakes and look at Pat Pete. He just sits still. And then Calvin runs right by us. And I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. I keep rewinding it. And I'm like, this is not, this isn't real life. He pump fakes, Pat Pete just sits. And he lets him go right. I can understand 
if I was in man coverage. But we were not in man coverage. And he just kept dotting us up. And I don't understand why the play action had that big of an effect in the second half, but it did in the first half. So again, same thing. I'm looking to the other side of the field. I'm looking at Crow Marty. He drops back, he sits, he pump fakes, and Crow Marty turns in, he turns out, he turns back around. Like, I might have to start doing damn pump fakes. It's absolutely crazy, but I appreciate it, guys. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you have not already. All that good stuff. Tell a friend, and as always,